Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I was gonna talk a little bit about why I still prefer a road two by over a one by system on my gravel bike. And in my case, we are talking about Shimano 105 11 speed on a Raleigh Tamland 2. So first off, I'd say there are, you know, three main advantages to the one by system. So it might, might as well start there. Um, first off is gonna be cost. Obviously you have less moving parts. You don't need the front derailleur, depending on how you're setting it up. That means one of the levers could be less expensive, obviously, you know, if it's gonna be a cabled mechanical system, you wouldn't need the cable that runs to there. And then one chain ring versus two. Uh, the second thing then, you know, would be maintenance, which you pay for either in time or actual money. So that'll depend on, you know, if you do the work yourself, obviously there's a little less work to do um, with less moving parts. And if you have a shop work on your bike, you're spending less money on not ever having to have your front derailleur set up in the first place or adjusted down the road. The third one, which I think is the least important is weight. You obviously will save a little weight by having less parts on your bike, less rings, no front derailleur. Um, the obvious stuff like that. So for the advantages of a two by setup, I'm gonna start with the reason that I think is the most underrated, which is two-handed operation. And I like two-handed operation of shifting gears for a number of reasons. The first one being, I'm also a photographer and videographer, so I'm running a GoPro or maybe even my regular camera. And if I have it in one hand and all of a sudden I need to drop some gears really quick with a two by, if it's in this hand, it's really easy to do. I think this applies more to most people, whether you're maybe taking on a gel or some food or a water bottle and you know, you need to slow down suddenly. It's nice to be able to shift with either hand to get the gears to where you want them. I'm sure, you know, if you run one by a long time, you just get used to that and you make sure you're not in those situations. But anyone who rides gravel or off-road knows that you don't always know what's about to come around the next corner or when you're riding in a group, anything like that. Stop, stop late changes, you decide you're gonna stop, that kind of thing. Also would be the ability to shift so many gears at once. And then this kind of goes with what I was saying before when you need to get into an easier gear. You know, in my case, I'm going from 50 to 34, and then with Shimano, I'm able to shift, what, three or four gears easier on the back, and there's just no way to, I just don't believe a one by system could ever shift as many gears as fast. And so again, that comes to maybe you're doing some gnarly roads that you've never been on before, and it's a steep, um, you're gonna hit a steep incline, and you're just able to drop that many gears that fast. Or again, you're coming up to a stop sign, you are gonna maybe roll it, uh, you know, depending on how you ride, and you really decide, nope, there's cars coming, I need to get into an easier gear. I just find that to be a benefit. I was actually riding in Columbus, I made a video about like when me and Dylan were hitting the dirt trails. I think being able to shift that many gears that fast applies on trails like that that I don't know. But it also, when we were coming back across town, we were riding a bike route and there were, we crossed a lot of bigger roads. And basically every time we were coming up to an intersection, we were slowing down to see if there was any traffic, but not necessarily stopping. And that's again, a case where I find that 50, 34 and being in the middle in the back is like the perfect, just having to shift one shift to slow down it's enough that you could pick up your pace again and then put it back into the 50. Again, I understand if you're used to one by, you're gonna know how many gears you need to shift and you'll get used to that. But again, being able to use either hand to do that and really quickly have the right gearing for what you're trying to do when you're riding in a city situation is a benefit of a two by. And then I would say, you know, one of the most common reasons people prefer a two by, and this applies to me as well, is just being able to dial in your perfect cadence. You know, you just have less steps, you know, between the gears you're gonna be shifting through. Obviously, you know, you don't really get the 22 gears. You don't get 20, you know, two by 11. Uh, compared to one by 11, because you're only gonna go so far for most people. I mean, I'm not gonna cross chain my bike like crazy, but I do like to be able to dial in the perfect cadence. I think this comes is more important to people who maybe come from the road world and are used to riding road bikes. Might not be as important to the people who come from the mountain bike side of things because they're already more used to having a little bigger of jump in there. But yeah, for me, I still like to be able to dial in my cadence. So why, um road two by one Shimano, what, which is what I happen to ride, has gravel specific group sets. 
For me, I really think the term gravel bike is unfortunate. Um, I like Jan Hein from Bicycle Quarterly and uh, Rene Ayer's tires term all road bike, because that's really what this is to me, is an all road bike. I ride it on all the roads. I ride it for light mountain biking. I ride it on actual gravel roads, some abandoned railroad tracks, and then I also ride it as a road bike. So for where I live and what I ride, I don't want to give up the top end. So. GRX tops out, I think, with a 46 ring in the front, whereas, you know, I have a 50 on this, and that's what I prefer. I actually do ride 5011 sometimes. I used to, you know, grind a lot more, and I do spin more now, but there are still times, even on, like, a bike tour, when we're, like, you know, coming down a hill where I like to just, like, be able to be lightly pedaling in a 5011. And, you know, there's times where I'm just riding this as a road bike on the pavement where, you know, I've come off a descent and I'm hitting along flat and I could be cruising along in 5011. I know the, the difference isn't that huge and some people say it wouldn't really affect me, but I did look at a gear calculator before I left and in a cadence somewhere in the 60s, um, it's a couple miles an hour difference between 50 and a 46 ring. So for me, I still like the road group set. And the fact that this could natively take, you know, 34 to 34 in the back. Um, I, I have a 32 on there now just because that's what was available. But I used to have this bike set up as a nine speed with a 34, 34. And that got me almost over almost everything that I would ride. For me, the one to one is enough. I understand if you live somewhere where you're doing like extremely long climbs on a fully loaded bike, that might change where you do need that 36, 38, 40, 42 in the back. For my case, the times that I have to put a foot down when we're doing something really crazy and off-road or maybe even on a mountain bike trail are pretty minimal. And it's usually just putting a foot down and a couple steps and then I'm back on the bike. So again, everyone's mileage varies when it comes to that. But for me, I prefer the road group set because most of the time, the 5011 is more important to me than having something like, you know, a mullet set up that would give me like a really big rear gear or having a smaller chain ring in the front. I would just, you know, I just always think you have to tune your riding to what you do the most. So yeah, those are just some of my opinions on why I like road to buy on my gravel bike. Um, I know if I lived out west, I did a lot of bike packing in the Rocky Mountains or something like that. Um, maybe my mind would be changed, but also I probably wouldn't be riding a Rally Tamland 2 for that. So everything is personal. Um, I would love to know if you run one by is there something that I missed? Is there another reason that one buy is better than two buy in your opinion? Let me know down below and I will see you guys in the next video.